ladies and gentlemen today I want to show you how to change the kitchen sink that's an old one hard plastic one is quite bad and nasty to clean them every time you know you put a bleach after a few days gonna get the same thing that's a new one stainless steel we just ordered well I think we just got a few quid of the eBay it's a second hand but a lot of stainless steel always clean hygienic the first thing we do as a main tap normally must be under the kitchen sink but I see this cock valve main valve isolator whatever you call it everywhere it can be anywhere I see in our apartment there in the hallway is in the cupboard, electrical cupboard or water cupboard, whatever. So in this case, uh, the, we got the freezer spray here. Today we are not going to use it because this isolator is working. So we just turn it clockwise. So it isolate the water. Well, unfortunately, we don't have the isolator on the hot water and cold water, as you know in Britain. The cold water is always on the right hand side and hot water on the left. We've got plenty of pipes going to the washing machine and uh, pipe from outside in the garden, uh, what, dishwasher, you just name it. It's all and it's twin, so we must modify all of them because the new one's got just one single one. So, uh, what we do. As I told you, isolate the water. First, we make sure the water is off. And uh, this is just for cold water. As I told you, the hot water, you must find the isolator and isolate the hot water too. And then, when we isolate the hot water and cold water, you just start removing all the drains pipes and then uh, the next video clip i show you and then as this uh, sink is larger than the old one we must cut the worktop a little bit to adjust it if it's a smaller of course it's not going to fit so well, fortunately it's slightly bigger we're going to fit this one so um i start work i cannot hold the camera and work at the same time uh, as I told you, uh, I started moving all the things, so we put a little container or anything underneath to catch the water. And then we go from there. In the next video clip, I'll show you when I remove the stuff. Hello guys, uh, th th this is part two. I uh, posted the part one. We removed the old sink, cut the pipes, as you see. That's 15 mil. So easy to cut a few quid for 15 mil. They're adjustable for different sizes. We had one of these. Cut these two pipes, hot water and cold water. Remove the old one. It was a little bit difficult because we had to chop the bolts off because they were all turning and you couldn't undo them. So I put the sink upside down on the top. Let's break the sink. Mm -hmm. that. Put the line around it. Make a line. That's the outer one. The line you see is the outer one. It's the outer one. And then we set back 10 millimeter for the edge of the sink. That's the second line. I'll show you. There's a setback one. Put this distance here. Ten millimeter setback, ten millimeter setback all around it. So what would we do? We're gonna cut the inner line, not the outer one, inner one. 
So I told you about the pipe, we cut them off. And that's it. So we're gonna use the jigsaw, you can use it, hand saw, anything you want actually. Oh, let's say cut this one and then when I'm fitting it and do the pipe work, I'm gonna let you know. Thank you guys, bye bye. Hi guys, as you see, we make a hole here and here, the four corners of the four top, so the jigsaw can sit in the hole. As I told you, you follow the inner. That's it. Our hoover. Because it's a working kitchen, we don't want to make so much mess for the household. Hoover. So we're trying to do the other side, but we must make sure we got enough space. Yeah, we got enough space. As you see, you do all the way, all around here. Get to this corner, and then this corner, and all the way back to here. When I cut this piece, I'm gonna take another video clip to explain the rest of it. So, see you later guys, bye bye. Hey guys, we cut this one off, as you see, pulling up. As you see, this is a piece. Leave it here. And you see, my my little girl is running around, and here we go. Here we go. Leave it here. That's it. So we change that one with the new one. Then when I connect the pipes and. Uh, uh, clips are gonna get another video clip to see how it's been done. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye Ladies and gentlemen, we managed to Remove the old one. We were struggling a little bit As you see Some of the screws didn't come out. We had to cut from the top To get it off It's just a piece from the worktop we remove few hoses from the shop we bought to fit that's all the stuff we had so we managed to get our U straight and just reverse this one this one the height was different when we put the new one so what we did we just reverse this one this one this one was this side so the distance so we reverse it cut the piece off this is for washing machine and as you see the hoses you just cut the pipe off uh, sorry yeah that's it let's bring this one down uh -huh. you can see better hot water cold water we just cut the pipe off straight from the top the top coming in so we managed to finish this one it took us a few hours we just do the puzzle which one fit get rid of few extra stuff uh, we had like this one was blocked before it was somewhere in the middle the, the height so we, we managed somehow to find the piece yeah, here we had this piece there too we got rid of most of them and that's the best one we could find clean all the pipes inside 
outside a little bit silicone in the back before we fit so it doesn't leak There's no leakage so we manage to change this one that one was we bought it from eBay for you quid so it didn't cost that much the tab again we bought it online it's beautiful mixer this one was I think 15 to me quid so job done so do you look after yourself till next video bye